For many years now, I've considered myself a liberal independent. Since the beginning of the year, I'd considered myself a little more of just an independent than a liberal independent. Nothing has moved me more quickly towards the left than the Alabama anti-abortion law that was recently passed, and watching the ways that Republicans react to it, and watching the ways that people who are claiming that they're, oh, they're really liberal, but they're, they're independent liberals, are reacting to it, where they're, they're not giving it the, the, the disdain that it deserves. Yeah, nothing, nothing has made me move to the left more quickly than that. It is anti-woman, it is misogynistic, it's disgusting. When penalties for someone getting an abortion is far, 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 far higher than the penalties for someone raping someone, yeah, you know you're dealing with an anti-woman sort of a bill. Now look, I think life starts at conception. But I still think someone has the right to remove something growing inside their body, whether it's another living human being or not. Now, once we have the technology available for artificial wombs, and, and that technology is available everywhere, at that point, and only at that point, do I think most abortions should be illegal. Until then, I think abortions need to be legal up until the point where a baby could be removed from the mother without killing it. At that point, yeah, you, you can have the baby removed, but you don't get to kill it. That's my stance on it. But let me tell you, you know, I... Nothing has made me go more fast-tracking to the left than this. The lack of empathy just astounds me. People who can't empathize with women who were raped who are now expected to go through with an entire pregnancy from someone who raped them. Blows my mind. Then we've got people like Matt Walsh from the Daily Wire, the, the jackass Christian from the Daily Wire. The guy who thinks that pretty much he, he's, he's the worst, one of the worst stereotypes of a Republican Christian from the Daily Wire saying this, I pointed out that rapists um, use abortion to cover their tracks and that abortion restrictions can actually protect uh, rape victims, whereas abortion clinics often exploit rape victims and can cause rape to continue. Now, I made that point in, ex in an exchange that began with someone responding to Michael Knowles uh, after Knowles pointed out that cases of rape and incest account for you know, less than 1% of all abortions. And someone responded to that and said, Michael Knowles is playing down the horrible fact of the Alabama abortion ban that if a 12 year old girl gets raped by her dad, she has to carry the baby and that the rapist will spend less time in prison than a doctor who aborts the baby. This is immoral. Now I responded to that and said, if a 12 year old is raped by her father and the father takes her to get an abortion, the evidence of the crime will be destroyed and he will go on molesting his victim for years. If however, the child is born, his crime will be discovered and she'll be rescued from the abuse. And then I continue, and this exact kind of scenario happens all the time with the help of the fine folks at Planned Parenthood who are more than happy to assist an abuser in covering up the abuse. And then I provided a link with examples of precisely this sort of thing. Now, do I apologize for making this point? No, no, I do not. Uh, not even a little bit. I'm not ever going to apologize for saying something that's true. It's never, ever going to happen, ever, period. All I know is that I don't want to be one of these centrists who keeps allowing the right wing to keep ratcheting things up more towards the right. You know, if I'm disallowing us to move to the left because of trying to be a centrist, I'm not doing anybody any good. Not really. No, I don't like what a lot of the extreme left are doing. I don't like what I'm seeing on college campuses. I don't like what's uh, being pushed forth in workplaces. I don't like some of the things that are being mentioned in mainstream media. I don't like it. But you know what? I'll take some of that over the, the shit that comes from the right. Just because the right has been consistent on their positions doesn't mean that their positions 
are somehow better. Yes, the, the left, again, has some messed up things about it, but it's nothing compared to how fucked up the right is. So, you know, if you all want to keep seeing me move to the left, you know, keep supporting things like this abortion law. Keep it up. Maybe I'll eventually be a, a Black Lives Matter and uh, identity politics and all that shit. Maybe, maybe you'll see me supporting some of that shit. I hope not, but, you know, if this shit keeps up, I, I'll, I'll be marching with them. Just saying.